what Vensem looks like. This is the PLE or the Personal Learning Edition. That's the one that's free for personal and academic use, so that's what we're going to use. Uh, once you open it, it looks like this, and the first thing you need to do is start a new mod. You can do that either by clicking on this button or going up and using the file. So here are a bunch of settings. We'll probably change all of them later on in the class, but we're going to start with this. So we have a new model, and we know that because we have these extra buttons that just showed up. Um, so if I talk about getting a button and you don't see it, it's probably because you haven't added a new model yet. What we're going to do is we're going to create a model for the uh, differential equation that says the rate of change of population is proportional to the population. So the first thing we need is a level variable, or sometimes called a box variable, because it's going to have a box around it. So we click on where it says level, and we click somewhere in the screen, and we type in population. You can call it whatever you want. That's what I'm going to call it. So that's going to be whatever we take the derivative of in our differential equation is going to be in a box or a level variable. So next, we need to add the differential equation. That's a rate or a flow. And so click out in the middle of nowhere. You get this sort of cloudy thing. You click in population, and you have a box where you can give it a name. So I'm going to call it change of population. And so this is telling Vincent we have a differential equation. We're taking the derivative of population. And that derivative is going to be whatever formula we put in here under change in population. So we said our derivative was the rate of change of the population is proportional to population. So we need a proportionality constant. That's going to be a variable, not a box variable because we're not taking the derivative of it. I'm going to call it k. So there's our proportionality constant. And now we're ready to build our differential equation. So in order to build our differential equation in where it says change of population, we're going to need a couple of things in our formula. We're going to need our proportionality constant. We're going to need our population. Um, to do that, we need arrows to tell Vincent we can use this stuff. So I'm going to click on my constant of proportionality and click on the formula and then do the same thing for population. And notice that I clicked out here in the middle of nowhere. That just gives me a curve. Um, that's because when you have a much more complicated model, a thing's going to end up looking like a spaghetti monster. So this is what we need to create a model. And in the next video, I'll show you how to put the